One of the great barriers to becoming a Christian is that it's too exclusive. How can Christians really claim that Jesus is the only way to heaven? That Christianity is the one true faith? What about the millions of people all around the world who follow other religions? Surely that's arrogant. Surely there are multiple ways to heaven and many religions that are true in their own way. This can be an attractive approach because it feels non-judgmental. This way we don't have to judge competing truth claims. We can just look at our neighbor of a different religion and say, well, they believe that and I believe this and we can both be right. It feels more tolerant, maybe more loving. But this entire concept undermines the value of truth at all. And it's actually not as tolerant or loving as it may seem. Because to say that all religions are true is really to say that no religion is true. Because all world religions, all of them, make truth claims that are unique and exclusive to one another. Is there a God at all? Is there one God or many? How do we solve the problem of evil and sin? What happens when we die? World religions are not just voicing different varieties of the same truth, but are making competing claims about reality. And because of this, they require us to make judgment calls to discern what is true and what is right. Although we should always state our beliefs with humility and gentleness and respect, that's different than saying that there are many equally valid ways to God. The central foundation of Christianity is the person of Jesus that only through faith in his life and death and resurrection can the problem of sin be solved and can someone return to God. This is unique to Christianity. Christians believe Jesus was a real person who died and who actually rose again. It's an historical claim. In fact, the Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 15, if Jesus did not really come back from the dead, then our faith is futile and we are to be pitied more than all people because the truth matters and it has eternal importance that makes it worth the time and effort to dig deeper, to learn more about the truth of the claims of Christianity, to discover the depth of the evidence available for the veracity of these claims, not just in the Bible, but also through science and philosophy and history. Christianity claims truth, not out of arrogance or prejudice, but out of love. If there is genuine truth about who God is, about brokenness and sin, about the death and resurrection of Jesus, then the most loving response is to proclaim this truth. The fact is, is that Jesus himself says, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. But this isn't a threat, it's an invitation. It's the greatest gift. And it's offered not just to certain people, but to all people from all backgrounds and circumstances and beliefs to be received by faith. We can choose to reject this gift, but Jesus, who not only claims to be the one way to God, but to be God himself, cannot be one truth among many.